Sayers Dam was built in 1971 in order to prevent rising floodwaters from spilling into neighboring towns, unfortunately. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be going hiking, but it's going to be a different place where there's a beach, I think. Right now, ooh, do you like my new hairstyle? Yeah. Uh, anyways, so yeah, so I'll see you guys there. Okay guys, we're back and so do you see this road over here? Legend has it that there was a town that flooded and then there's like a whole town under that water somewhere. So that's the most I've ever seen of the road. Like over there, how there it's like missing over there. Yeah. All right, we're heading down to check out the road. All right, let's go check out the road. We've never been able to go out this far. Oh, I should have wore a bigger coat. It was so cold. It's a little windy down by the water, isn't it? usually very full of water. This is actually the lowest I've ever seen it, so we're going to walk out as far as we can on this old road. It is a pretty view. I wonder if there's any treasure under the water. Yeah, there's pro so there's, there might, might be houses and there might be like cool stuff in the houses that the underwater if the legend is true. Dun, dun, dun. Made it almost the whole way to the end. Ellie, there's nothing in there. Oh, nothing. Almost to the end. Oh, someone's fishing. Who knows what happened to the rest of the road. Just disintegrated over time, I guess. It almost goes the whole way over, but not quite. <laughs> he don't get in the water. He's trying to go in the water. Oh, oh. Here we are, down at the bottom. I'm down here in the swim sometimes. It seems like it's a good place. Hopefully there's no, like, alligators in there. No Let's way. check out this road over here. See where it breaks off? <laughs> really cool. That always seems really exciting. He used to go the whole way over. here. Found this odd little structure here. I don't know if it's man-made or if it just it formed like that. You think so? Yeah, I think so. It looks like someone probably made that. Oh no, those rocks are pretty heavy. It's cool you can see how the road is lifting up here, which normally this is all covered in water, so you never get to see the end of it like this. So it's really cool. Ellie, come here, your tangled. Okay, this is Sayers Dam. Let's see, it's really pretty. Yeah, let's go hiking, girl. Yeah. Your dogs are escaping. <laughs> Come back. Here we are hiking again because we have spring fever. Right, Addy Cat? Yep. What you doing? I am faster than Sunny. <laughs> we're on the old road. This was a, a road from a long time ago and we're trying to find the end. Yeah, we go this for a long way. But Stay we tuned, keep you posted. Wow, cool, what'd you find? Charcoal. It's really shiny and pretty, so I'm trying to break it. It's not working. My mom already has a Maybe tiny Maybe we can jump. find a loose piece somewhere. It's so shiny and pretty. I don't know what it is, really. It's part of the old road. Okay, we got it. Hopefully we find another piece. There's actually little patches of it all along this road. We'll have to go home and do some research about this old road and the town that supposedly got sunk under the water in the flood. Oh, another piece. Come, come. Uh, yeah, it's all along this road. Come on, I need a piece of that shiny, shiny stuff. Ooh, I need a piece of that. It looks like it's equidistant between each pod, too. There's one. There's one. 
Hey, look, I think we made it to the end of the road. Oh, a piece of charcoal. They're everywhere. Let's go to the end where it might be more loosened up. Like... We finally found the other side of the end of the road. We've never been over here. It's our first time. We're gonna go down. We're gonna go down to the water here and check it out in a little bit once we get to the end. All right, guys. Look at this old road. It's really cool. There's some old drainage pipes, but it's really upheavaled. Is that a word? Up. Oh, it like turns sideways. Let's check it out. Watch your step. Like yeah, it's like totally sideways. Oh, the dogs are going down to the water. Watch your step. Yeah, this is cray cray. Oh, Look at the gap there. there it's hard to get perspective on the difference there. Here. All right, let's check this out. I hope there's pieces, more pieces of the black cool rock things down here. They look like they already fell out. Look, here's a spot where there would have been some right there. They're like every couple feet. Oh, right here. Oh, that's actually glass. Um, that's actual glass. Wow, look yeah. at this here. How the road really gets slanted right here. Here, I'm gonna go over here for a second. Let's not walk over. It seems like a dangerous idea to walk over. Ellie! <laughs> Ellie, how are you doing that? You're crazy, girl. <laughs> she doesn't have any fear. Oh my gosh, look how slanted it gets now. If I step on there, I'm gonna fall. Mom, <laughs> you better be careful, bud. I know. The camera doesn't do it justice either. We are. Did that from this angle. And then we got this whole broken road here. I see something over here. Let's go check it out. Oh, it's actually turning into sand. This is actual sand now. I know. That's the water comes up over this. Usually this is covered. Yeah, there's definitely. It's really pretty out here today. She found a huge chunk of that black rock. Guys, guess what? There is a huge chunk and it's in my pocket. Are you gonna show them? In the sunlight, it'd probably be sparkly. Yeah, I want to try to hammer it open so it would look like the other piece. We'll have to do that when we get home. Yeah. Let's see. What is this rock? There's like, <laughs> look how many pieces. Ooh. This is what we want it to look like. Sparkly. Yeah. My friend, all my friends are gonna be like, Addy, how did you get that? It's like, really cool. Let's go to the end here. Look, we're so close to the end. We made it. We're gonna go check it out. Anybody else? You guys are like at the edge, edge of the road. Oh, I guess it's okay. It, it drops off onto some rocks and stuff. He's brave. Now Ellie's gonna follow him. <laughs> He's gonna get a drink. Hopefully he doesn't fall in. Sunny, don't go too far, buddy. <laughs> this ground is really dirty. <laughs> yeah, it's very dusty. It's fine. All right, let's go walk around. Where all the treasure is gonna be, Addy, under the sea. <laughs> Whenever I walk on it, it sounds like glass. It's like shale. It's little shale deposits. Ellie, Sunny, there she comes. Come on, girl. Mom, can you record this? What do you think that is? Looks like a type of like. What'd you find? I found like a piece of an oyster, maybe. It's a big shell. That's cool. Oh, uh, too bad there's no pearl in it. It's already been opened. Yeah. Look how squishy this is when I walk. Like, if I walk, you can see the sand move. It's like, so <laughs> weird. Sorry, I'm sinking. 
In about a month, this will be all underwater again. You, look, Sunny found a shell that's not opened. Didn't ya? What's inside there, huh? You're gonna cut your face. Is it Careful, enough? they're very sharp. Uh, there's no pearl in it. Look how high it. we are right at the top. I don't know how we're gonna get back down. The water level. You should have a walking stick like these. Look how cool these old trees look. You can see the water line used to come up to here. And all the roots are exposed, which is really cool. I always wanted to make a like a chandelier out of something like this. Rustic, but hasn't happened yet. Maybe someday. This one's up so high you could almost sit underneath of it. Oh my gosh, guys, look, I just found an oyster. Oh, <gasps> it's full of sand. Ew, dump it out. Hold it this way a little. Anything good in there? No. Sadly, no. Turn it towards the sun. So people can see. Yeah, nothing in there. They're not oysters. I don't know what they are. We'll just call them shells. What's them call it shell? What is that, Addy? What? Oh, I don't know. I wish I could go swimming. It's a great spot. This is a great spot to go fishing. These little waves. This is a great spot to go fishing and swimming. Like, we should do it sometime. So pretty out. It's like biggest waves. I don't want to come up to Do it, old guy. Take a look at the road from this angle. You can see there it is. And then it really curves down. I see that gold sparkle. Is it treasure? What is it? It's a soda can. Oh, bummer. Check it out. That's part of a old tree trunk under the water there. I wonder how long ago that grew and not that many trees can grow in the water like that. It's still got a huge root system. And this used to all be under the water at one point. Found my family over there. Wow, look at this. This is cool. This is the biggest shell we've found. It looks kind of like butterfly wings, doesn't it, Addy? Yeah. How cool is that? Are you going to check it out? Yeah. yeah. Nothing, nothing. Nice, pretty big shell. It's cool. It was pretty much intact, too. There's so many cool rocks. I know, there's lots of cool rocks down here. Found a really cool shell right here. And some of that rock Addy was looking for. Hello, what are you doing? Thanks for coming. This is how I hunt for rocks. I climb on my legs. These pants are already dirty from all the sand and slime I have, but this one's like gray and white. This one's like half red, half black. And these are the shiny ones I'm looking for. That's okay. awesome. Where are we going? Yeah, this is how I hunt for rocks. Yeah, oh. Ooh, this is the shiny one again. Cool. Look what's it's right here. Right in front of you. Isn't that what you're looking for? When Black we get ones. home, can we like hammer it open? I want to see what's in the inside. Sure. Yay. Here, let me show you what I found. It's just right up here. Uh, so each other found this really cool oh shell and a big piece of that black rock. Oh my gosh. My okay, we're starting to think this story is definitely maybe a little bit true because here on this beach that we've been walking on, we're finding lots of broken pottery and lots of bricks everywhere. Yeah. So maybe there was a town buried under here once upon a time when the dam flooded years ago. Awesome huge rock I found. It's like white and it looks like there's some fossils in there. It's like could be. That's cool. Oh, hopefully there's some cool stuff. 
check out what I found. Here's a bunch of bricks that say Beach Creek, which is a town nearby. There's another one Here's right another here. one. There's another one right here. And there's another one over there. What's that one say? Beach Creek too? Yeah. Beach. Yeah, Beach Creek. That is crazy. These are yeah. in the beach where normally, like I said, this would be under the water all the time. It's really cool. These have to be super old. I wonder. This is so cool that we found like three of them all piled up together and it would normally be under the water. All right, we found a normal brick and a Beach Creek brick and you can see the difference. A regular brick is one thing, but the Beach Creek one is actually marbled in a way. It's really cool. There's a lot of them. We just put it beside there so we could compare them. I wonder, I wonder if they're from a really old historical building that got buried under this lake yeah. when the flood happened long ago. Yeah. What do you think? It's kind of exciting to think about, huh? Yeah, and kind of creepy because it got flooded. Yeah. All right, what do you got there? I have the shiny rock and I have a piece of what I think is slate. Totally, that definitely looks like slate. And they're not like that slate. heavy. This is what chalkboards were made of before they got all those dry erase boards these days. Yeah. And when we get home, we can like break this open and see what's inside. Totally. All right, cool. Cool, let me check it out. Not quite sure what that is. It looks like old metal. Yeah, part of the punch for you. That's a lot of sticks. And burrs. Just looking at this stuff to see. This is weird. It's like little remnants of a structure. It looks like a piece of like, it looks like a piece of glass, but it's like cool. It's like looks like the top of something, kind of. That is cool. It's like white glass. That's yeah. old-fashioned. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's really cool. That I found another piece of stone that says something. It's hard to read, make it out, but I can see something B-A-R at the end. Or in the middle or whatever. Very interesting. All right, guys, we're back almost to where we started. We're gonna head back to the car. Are you ready, Addy Cat? Yeah. So we're gonna go home and smash open that rock we found, that giant one. All right, here we are, Sayer Stamp Vlog. Fun hiking adventure. All right, you ready to go? Yep, see you guys when we get home. Bye. Okay, we made it home. And I'm wearing my old glasses for safety, like safety goggles. So, yeah. yeah. It's starting to get dark out, so we're going to bust this puppy open. Or try, at least. Whoa! Good job! Let's see what's inside there. Anything cool? Take a look. It's hard to see. It would sparkle, but it's getting dark out. So it's because of the light, you can't really tell. But it is sparkly, honey. It's busted open some more. Okay. I wonder what our neighbors are thinking right now. Like, you took one giant rock and made it into a bunch of little ones. I would say. All right. Take a look. Was it what you thought it would be? No, I thought it would be like cool crystals in the inside. It is. Okay, it is. guys, I'm gonna wrap it up now. So, I hope you like this video where. We went hiking, we got found this giant rock, smashed it into pieces. Comment down below if you liked it, smash that like button, subscribe, and don't forget the notification bell. Bye guys! In 1972, rising waters poured over the spillway, flooding the historical town of Howard, Pennsylvania, leaving mass destruction in its wake. Today, this area is used as a recreation area in Bald Eagle State Park.